All right, so we have Promptail running on two servers now. We can use Promptail to read other log files as well as the systemd journal. This is what we have, a Loki data source, Loki service, and two Promptail services on different servers. Reading log files, the systemd journal, and pushing that information to the Loki service, which is read by the Loki data source inside Grafana. Now we can read other log files other than the system journal. We can also read Nginx logs or any log file on the servers. So in this example, I'll show you how to read Nginx logs and you will be able to apply the concepts to other log files as well. So what I'm gonna do is go on to my config prompt tail on my other server where I have an Nginx web server running. That's my SP code server. The prompt tail config I saved in user local bin. So sudo nano config promptail.yml. Okay. So, so there's a scrape config for systemd journal so far. I'm going to create another scrape config for nginx to read nginx log files. Okay, on the documentation page here, just this section here. Copy that and right click and that'll paste it into the nano there. Okay, so job name nginx, entry parser raw, static configs, targets localhost, labels job nginx. So we'll see nginx inside Grafana once I save this and restart Promptail. And it will have a job called nginx. So we'll see that in Grafana. Okay, so down here we also set the path being var log nginx log. Now inside the var log nginx folder, there are many nginx log files. More importantly, access.log and error.log. They're the two files that Promptail will read, sort and pass on to the Loki service on my Grafana server. Also note that here I've put host SB code. Now this is optional. I'm creating another label called host that will allow me to filter by the word SB code. Now in our first scrape configs for the systemd journal, I put the host name here, slash SP code slash systemd journal. And that's how I was distinguishing between the different systemd journals. Now, this is another way of doing that. So instead of having job SP code slash systemd journal, you might find that it's a better option to create a second host label, for example, and do it that way. That way you can filter by the job systemd journal and the host SB code and that might be a better way long term to manage multiple hosts so it's up to you I'm going to leave it the old way so that we can see the difference but down here I'm going to use the new host label SB codes so if I have an nginx scrape config on multiple servers they'll all be called nginx but I'll be able to filter them further using host and whatever I use as the host name so all good Control X to save, yes, enter, and restart the Promptail service. And check its status. Okay, Control C to exit that. Okay, so there's one problem so far, but first we'll see this in Grafana using the systemd journal that we've already set up. So into Grafana, I'm in the Explore tab, and I'm going to look at the SB code systemd journal that has already been set up. Now, if I filter this by unit equals promptail service and then run the query i can begin to see some errors so let's look at those in more detail it says failed to start tailor open nginx error log and access log permission denied okay so if i was to look at the log files ls lh var log nginx we can see there's a user and group the user has read write and the group has read access so my promptail user that i'm using for my promptail service can't read that file unless it's part of the adm group so i'm going to add it to the adm group so and i'm going to use sudo user mod ag adm promptail okay now we can check the promptail groups there we go promptail is part of the adm and systemd journal groups now so if I now just restart Promptail, there we go, and just double check its status, all good, and go back into Grafana, and just run that again. Okay, so it starts to look good now. 
Okay, so here it says seeked var log nginx error and seeked var log nginx access log. So I'm not getting the errors anymore like I was before. And that was permission related. So now if I go to log labels, go to job, we see a new entry in there for nginx. So that is labels there, job nginx. Okay, so labels, job, nginx. Now also, there's another entry there for host, sb code. That's this thing here, labels, host, sb code. I can search for job nginx, and that will give me potentially the nginx logs for many servers if I have set this up on many servers. But if I wanted to refine that, I could say host equals sb code and shift enter. There we go, and I'd only see the ones for SB code. And I'll set up this Nginx great config for my other Promptail service after this video. But for now, I'm just showing you that you can do that. Okay, so that's good. We're getting the logs through into Grafana now. But Nginx logs contain a lot of other useful information, such as status code, for example. And I would like to see those status codes and maybe several other parts, such as method and the URL or the protocol as labels that I can select from. Now, we can do that using Promptail. We can run a regex every time one of those lines is scanned and create labels from them, depending on what is found. And to do that, you use a concept called pipeline stages. So go back into your config Promptail configuration and we'll add this next section down here. Okay, so sudo nano user local bin config prompt out yml. So scroll down. There's the job name nginx that we've already set up. Okay, so that's this bit here. That's what we've already set up. Now I want pipeline stages. Now copy that. Now note that I'm also copying the white space before the word pipeline stages there. That's because YMLs are white space sensitive. Anyway, so my cursor is in the right place, right click and it pastes. Okay, so Nginx pipeline stages match selected job Nginx. That's that there, job Nginx stages regex. This, this is a regular expression that is trying to extract values from each of those log lines and putting them into variables, remote address, remote user, etc. And that line continues on very far into side like that okay so regex is quite hard i'll demonstrate what this regex does in a moment but right now we can just trust that it's going to create several variables from each log line as they're read and put them into new labels called method and status because i've just commented out the rest control x yes restart promptail and check its status very, very good. Control C to exit the status. Go into Grafana and let's just refresh the browser. Okay, so log labels. We now get some new log labels for method and status. So let's have a look at status 403. The last five minutes has only been a 403, but we'll see some more of those as the log catches up. I'll pause the video for a moment while I wait for some more data. Okay, so I've made quite a few requests on my server now so there should be a lot more let's have a look at that there's a lot more 200s 200 200 200 log labels status and there are quite a few more status codes now method only get so there you go so that's the nginx job and we can filter it further by host method or status host equals sb code and status equals 403 example okay so let's break apart this regular expression here so visit a website called regex 101 regex 101 and we can use this to experiment with regular expressions since i have a regular expression to read nginx logs i'm going to need some test data so if i write tail var log nginx access log it will give me some sample data. So if I just copy a bunch of that up to there, for example, and paste that into regex 101, I have some sample data now. If I copy this regular expression here between this single quote all the way down to the end for the last single quote there and put that into regex 101, 
we can see that it's used that regex to scan this test data and it's split them up into several named capture groups so that's the example there so less than status greater than that there is the named capture group okay so we can see status 403 protocol request method so what we're doing is extracting those values in that regex and then creating labels for them so remote address that one's commented out so you can uncomment that if you like remote user but i haven't commented out method or status so goes method there's status so that's how i'm able to extract those values from each log line using the regular expression okay so regex 101 is your friend you can experiment with all kinds of regular expressions using this now also note that in this video i read nginx logs down here and that's the path here var log nginx star dot log there are many logs on your servers okay so the other thing i want to quickly demonstrate is actually graphing these using a visualization so let's go into dashboards manage create a new dashboard add a panel select loki log labels job nginx remember it's a log stream at first so we can't actually graph that unless we wrap it in log ql count over time for example with a range of one minute there we go we can start to see it now let's zoom in host sp code so i'm going to refine that host sp code so we get these long labels there i'm going to make that for the last 15 minutes so we get a few more the legend names are very very long so what i can do is actually use the group clause so let's do that again let's do sum to turn it into an instance vector like so and then do by status there we go and those legend labels are much smaller now but it's the same information it's very very good so some count over time and they're all things that have been discussed in the last several videos i can change that title status codes excellent let's save that i'm gonna name the dashboard nginx okay let's add another panel loki job nginx just going to ensure it's the host of SP code. Very good. Visualization logs. I'm going to display the unique labels down the left. That's very good. So save that. Save. Let's go back to the beginning. Now move log file to the left. Oh, very good and now i can create some annotations so that's very quickly just the beginnings of an nginx dashboard that you can create for yourself in grafana excellent